Hello, everyone, and welcome to the most profitable workshops for 1.8. 1.8 has seen a dramatic change in the economy, unlike anything we have ever seen in Bannerlord. With previous versions, we have seen a huge excess of goods at the start of the game. This is on day one. You can see that the prices of goods are through the roof, with beer being 300 and most of them being over 30. This has caused an effect on workshops themselves to be completely erratic at the beginning of the game. Therefore, it is virtually impossible to get good data in the early part of the game until the economy begins to stabilize. It starts doing that at around day 200, and by day 300, it's pretty much stable that we can go ahead and get data, and that's where this data has come from. The prices of workshops have also changed from being around 13 to 15,000 each. Here you can see 25,500. You can expect them to average somewhere between 17 to 27,000 for each workshop. So be prepared to pay out big time for these shops. That is why it is also very important that you pick the right shop to begin with because you're only going to get between seven to 9,000 if you sell your shop, meaning you're gonna lose anywheres between 15 to upwards of 18,000 dinars by buying and selling a shop. So picking the right one is more important now than ever. With the change in the economy, there is good and there is bad. The good, bad, whatever you wanna call it, Wool Weavers are no longer OP, as they have been fixed. They were not producing low-tier armor. They are doing that now. That is decreased how much profit they are making, so they no longer will make you that three, four, five hundred a day. Smithies are still in bad condition, as the iron ore is still cheap, and caravans just scoop it up and run it away. Besides those two, most shops in the game are now going to produce a decent, if not great, return on your money. So even though the economy is a little whacked out at first, this is a good step in the right direction. And I think once we can get wine and oil back as consumables, work on that iron ore, I think that we're going to have the game pretty much where every shop is going to be able to make decent money. As always, there are a dozen different factors that go into figuring out how much a shop is going to make. I'm not going to run through all of them like I do in every video, but when I get people that say I'm making this, 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 that is why most likely you could be making that amount of money as one of those dozen factors is playing out for you that doesn't play out for somebody else. This test is done over the course of two months. The profit is taken, divided out per day, and it is run twice. And if the numbers are within 20% of each other, then I average it out and call it good. If not, then I run it all over again until I can get two numbers within 20% and get a good figure. So a lot of time is put into collecting this data, and I feel very confident with these numbers. I am proud to say, for the first time, there is not a single town in the game that has shops that will make less than 100 a day. Every town has at least one shop that will do it, with now breweries being, I think, the meta in Bannerlord. So when you see something in silver, it should make you between 100 and 199 a day. When you see something in gold, it will make you 200 plus a day. There are quite a few shops that will make more than 300 and some that could make 400. But just to go ahead and not have crazy numbers all over the place, 
I figure 200 plus is good. When you see the list of these workshops in towns, always remember to go from left to right on the screen. If you see two of them in gold, the one on the left will always make more. So once again, I have included timestamps. So when you come back to the video, you can just click on the kingdom you're looking for and get to the information fast. And once again, I have included my top five workshops in the game. So without further ado, here are the most profitable workshops in 1.8. As always, my friends, take care and thanks for watching.